In this section, we will prepare the best connectors for installation. So first, we will need to prepare a quarter inch sheet shrinks. The length should be approximately a little bit longer than the sole of this wire connector. Slip the heat piece of heat shrink into the best battery wires. Now, um, if the VESC battery wires are already tinned with solder, use the wire cutter to remove the tin segments such that the individual wire strands are not soldered together. Now, we will need to um, cut the battery wires and strip about one centimeter of the wire off. For each stripped wire, twist the wire strands into a tight bunch such that they can fit inside the solderless wires connectors. As you can see, this process um, may take a while. So I have to do the same for the battery connector wires later. Now we will take out the solderless heat shrinks and then we have to insert the stripped end of the battery connector wires into the solderless wire connector. The exposed copper should be inside the metallic cylinder of the solderless wire connector. A key part is that we have to ensure no exposed copper is sticking out of the solderless wire connector. So during the process, if the copper wires are messed up, you have to repeat the twisting process in order to make it fit into the metallic cylinder. After it has, it has fit inside the metallic cylinder, use the crimping tool to crimp the solderless wire connector onto the battery connector's exposed copper. Ensure that the crimp, crimp is tight and complete by holding on to the solderless wire connector and tugging, tugging on the crimped wire. Tugging tug-in causes the connection to slip, disconnect, go back, and redo the process again. Be careful to each time you crimp, it's secure and hard, or else you will waste a lot of solderless heat shrinks. Now we have to repeat the same process by inserting the stripped end of the VESC corresponding battery wires into the uncrimped end of the solderless wire connector. Again, make sure that the copper is inside the solderless battery connector's metallic cylinder, that no copper is ex exposed or sticking outside of the solderless heat shrink. Use the crimping tool again and secure the connection by crimping hard on the solderless heat shrink. Repeat the process on both of the wires until it is done. After that, we have to use a heat gun to uniformly heat the solderless wire connection and it, until it has completely shrunk. Do not apply excessive heat as it may melt the connections. Once the connectors has cooled down, slip up the quarter inch black heat shrinks 
until it completely covers the shoulderless heat shrinks. Repeat the heating process again, this time with the quarter inch black heat shrink on top. Make sure it has completely shrunk, but do not apply excessive heat. Finally, you can just plug in the USB mini cable into the VESC and we'll be done with making the VESC connections.